What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl. Girls, Nikki Tutorials was assaulted. Start the video, girl. All right, girls, today's video is sponsored the house by Photography by Heart. Nina Hart and her sickening sister, Charlene, girl. What's the tea, honey? So checking out the website is Sickening Pinup Girls Photography, Miss Thing. So they're located in Southern California. So if you're a Cali girl, definitely check them out. I'll put their Facebook fan page down below with the website address as well. So here's the tea, girls. Okay, so they do your hair your makeup, and then they transform you into a pinup girl and take your photos. I just think it's simply amazing. So if you're in SoCal, I always wanted to give that whole pinup girl vibe. Let me tell you, girl, the holidays are here. You could dress up for your man or woman, pin up the house, and take some sickening photos, girl. So definitely check them out down below. I think you'll love them. So when I first came across this news, I thought it was like a lie, like people were sending it to me, so I had to like fact check it. Girl. Let me tell you what Nikki Tutorials tweeted on her Twitter. She put, last night in Amsterdam, I was assaulted by two men. They hardcore kicked my foot. I fell down and their goal was for me to drop my purse so they could take it. Didn't drop it, so they ran off. My foot is very sore and swollen, but I'm okay. Just such a big eye opener. It's good to be aware that there are people with evil intentions out there. Not gonna lie, I was so scared they were gonna do worse stuff after I fell, but thank God they ran off and my friends ran to cops so they could chase them. Today I spent with friends doing nothing but fun and positive stuff. I don't know what I would done without them. So grateful. Oh girl, now a lot of people are saying that this was a targeted attack. There's no proof to prove that, but Nikki Tutorials you can spot her a mile away, girl, okay? She is like really, really, really tall. She's not a regular girl that's like five foot five. No, she is tall the house, okay? When I, sometimes I watch her videos and she'll wear very minimalistic jewelry. Like it'll be like a gold necklace that has like a V on it. That necklace is by Louis Vuitton. It's like at least like a couple of dollars. Like, but you would never know because it's just so small, minimalistic her earrings, like little stuff like that that she wears. It's not like big in your face jewelry. Like a necklace girl, like this necklace girl, no ma'am. Her jewelry is very small and very expensive. So a lot of times, you know, it's like a common practice. Like sometimes people would distract you while another person's like pickpocketing you or this whole, like they don't have to run up to you, snatch your purse and run. No girl, they'll automatically trip you kick your foot so that way it looks like appears to other people that you fell down and they could go down and help you. Oh, let me help you. Snatch your purse and run. These people who steal from people on the street are getting very, very creative. And I think like as a woman, you could feel as empowered all you want, right? And here's like this message, right? So check this out. I like to think that we're all equal, right? But at the end of the day, most women scientifically are very smaller than men, right? Even if a man and a woman are the same size, a man usually has more strength than a woman. Sometimes, unless you're like bodybuilder girl. And so sometimes women could feel like always overpowered because there's always men around, so they always may feel weak. And I don't think that was the case with naked tutorials, but I think when they tripped her and she realized like in that moment, they could rob me. I think she was very shocked and shooken up. So send Nikki tutorials all your love and positive vibes, girl. Especially during this holiday season, you already know a lot of people out there, girl, trying to goop the girls, trying to steal rob girl for the holidays. It happens every year around this time. Well, girls, Manny, anything for views, she's at it again, girl, at it again. So check this out, girl. So Manny MUA has come up with this conspiracy in his Snapchat that his PR is getting stolen. Roll the video, girl. Mm. I think someone's been stealing some of my packages from my house. For real, for real, for real. I'm getting cameras installed on Monday. <laughs> we already called. We're gonna figure it out. I'm missing a couple packages. And I'm, the only reason I even know I'm missing packages is because when I'm seeing other, uh, uh, beauty people on Snapchat unboxing things from the brands that I receive PR from and I don't get those items. I'm like, where'd the package go? I'm like, hmm, hmm. There's three I know of right now. That I'm like, what packages? Where'd they go? 
¿Dónde está? ¿Mm? ¿Mm? Now, I don't know if she's kicked off PR list or not. I do not know. But if you're not getting PR and your other friends are, it's a possibility that you may not be getting PR, that you got kicked off the list. But to assume that it's getting stolen, girl, really? So she says she's gonna install security cameras. Girl, she ain't gonna, she's not gonna install security cameras. She can barely get out of bed to shoot a damn video, much less install something, girl, okay? But I'm really interested to know, do you think that, you know, his packages are getting stolen because it's kind of hard to believe, especially like in that video, the way like he was like body language, it just kind of seemed like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it was a girl, no man. This reminds me of this one time, me and this friend of mine, her name was Melanie girl, but we used to call her felony Melanie girl because she had so many felonies. Well girl, Miss Felony Melanie, it was around this time too, around Christmas time, she had a little scam going on girl and she would go to people's houses. What she would do is she would drive to neighborhoods that are not in her area and she would park far away and then she'll act like she was, you know, taking a little walk and stuff, had a little water bottle, a little, her little capris, you know, very workout gear, neon colors girl. She'll walk up there, not bothered, talking on the phone, but she really wasn't talking to anybody. And she would walk, she would walk right on up to people's yards and still gifts and presents, you know? Now, it's kind of hard to tell if she knew if it was gift or presents, but when it's around the holidays time, you know people are getting a lot of orders in the mail. So it's like, you don't know what's inside, but it's like, all you see is like a brown package sitting at the doorstep. So yes, ma'am, she would go up there, she would snatch at the house. But it wasn't until one day, girl, she ended up messing with the wrong girls. Miss Felony Melanie, you would never even assume that she was that type of girl to steal, right? She's a very preppy, tall, blonde hair, blue eyed girl, very proper, too, but you would never know she had felony the house. Well, girl, this one time she messed with the wrong house, girl. Yes, ma'am. She had went up there, her normal little routine, and she she went up there. She parked the car, went on her little walk in some neighborhood she never been before. And she, girl, she knew. She she thought she knew it. Like she she thought she knew the tea, girl. She walked, she went up to this one house and she stole this person's package. What she didn't know is they got her ass on camera, girl. Yes, ma'am, they sure did. And she got greedy. This always happens with people who do this type of stuff. They always get greedy, girl. So what she decided to do, instead of taking the package and going back to her car and driving off, girl, no ma'am, she got the package, went in her car, and drove down that same street. So she passed up the house, girl. Normally you would take a different road. Don't drive down the house, girl drove down the same street and they caught her driver's license miss thing and i i knew she got caught because right around christmas party time girl she wasn't at nobody's christmas party now would you hear about felony and melanie i was like no girl what happened to felony and melanie girl they're like girl they got her goop the how they caught her thieving people's people's mail girl for the holidays and i was like you know what that's such a stupid thing because you never know what's inside people's packages girl you know you you're you're thinking you're about to you think you're about to get something cool like maybe an iphone 10 or maybe a laptop girl so you're walking up to the mailbox and you steal a package you get home open it and it's just the laura lee palette Girl, are you serious? Can you imagine how disappointed people are gonna feel about you over here thinking it's some huge, expensive electronic and ain't nothing but a damn color pop palette or so? Girl, I would be so devastated. Girl, no ma'am, you wanna catch me up there, a little nickel and diamond. But I'm gonna steal some, I'm steal some huge, girl. I'ma camp out. When I see that big old 80 inch TV, girl, that's where I'ma swoop right in, girl. I don't know how I'm gonna carry it, girl. But at least when you go out, you go out with a bang. Not for now, not, you're not gonna go steal people's packages for a damn elf palette. Girl, no man, bust the how. Whatever happened to Felony Melody, girl? Speaking of going out with a bang, girl, did you hear the news about Jaclyn Hill? Girl, she tweeted out on Twitter that she is well aware that she only put out 30 videos for the whole entire year of 2017. So you could do the math. How many videos is this? Girl, I post a video every day. In one month, I already did more videos than Jaclyn Hill has done in a whole entire year. Can you imagine that? Girl, Jaclyn Hill is not bothered. She, I'm just so busy. And the comments were crazy. They're like, I mean, you're just too busy to do YouTube when you got Jeffree Star who has his own makeup line and still manages to pump out videos. 
and you don't even have your own makeup line, your own company, all you do is collaborations and all you can do is pump out 30 videos in one year? Girl, this is obvious. The truth is in the pudding, darling. Jaclyn Hill, I feel, in my opinion, has lost her passion for YouTube and it happened. It's okay. It's okay if she has. I don't know understand why she has to fake it and say she hasn't. Just be like, girl, you know what? I used to love doing videos, but I'm just getting tired, girl. I'm gonna take a little break. But girl, you know what? I think what it really is. I think that Jacqueline Hill has a lot of money and she's just too booked to be bothered with YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Cause can you imagine like, can you imagine saying you do something for fun, but then let's just say you hit the lotto, girl, and you get like millions and millions of dollars. And you're like, I don't gotta lift a mother effing finger. I don't gotta do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so she's probably like, not even bother you. She probably, I think the days that she does upload videos is because she's just so bored. She's like, ah, oh, let me go upload a video. I'm bored. And grace the children with the video. But I'm just so shocked that people calculate. <laughs> The people calculated that Jaclyn Hill has done 30 videos in the whole entire year, girl. Girl, no ma'am. Girl, no ma'am. I cannot, girl. I th I don't know. You know, I don't want to sit here and criticize poor Jaclyn anything for Views Hill. But I kind of feel like, girl, I I'll sit up here and I'm making this video, but who knows? Maybe a couple years from now, I'll upload one video a whole damn year. Who knows? Can you imagine, girl? So I'm not going to throw that many rocks. But it's obvious that Jaclyn Hill, uh, has, I think, has lost her passion for YouTube at this point in time. But evidently, girl, people aren't bothered. She's still getting sponsors and people want to do collabs and videos and her name on palettes, girl, all the whole time. You know, another group of people have been saying that Jaclyn Hill has been working on something major. That's nothing to do with Morphe. It's her own girl. I don't know. That's just a little rumor because all these little YouTubers, girl, we're gonna see 2018 <laughs> makeup lines are gonna be dropping like cats out of the sky, girl. It's raining meatballs. So you'll see it, girl. You'll see 2018, I think, is the year of the palette, girl. You know, if you're, you know, you know how they do like the year of the pig, the year of the rooster. Girl, 20, 2018 is a year of the palette. I also want to give a big thank you to today's sponsor, Photography by Heart. Thank you for taking a chance on me and sponsoring an amazing video. And don't forget to check them out down below if you have time. I'm sure you'll love them. But anyways, girl, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters so when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. Alright, see you in the next video. Peace. Bye, I love you so much.